right, so this is my attempt at showing you how to tie a loop knot, which is this right here. And this does not slide, okay? So this is solidly in place. And what you're gonna do is this would hook around your axle. And so on this little, with my attempt at making a speed car last week, this is my uh, setup here. There's a little sharp point. You can see that tack or a little nail right there. Okay, so I would loop this knot on the end of that, and then I'm gonna wind up around that. Okay, and I pull my slammer up, and in doing so carefully, this is a little bit awkward in this position, but I wind it up, and this then will allow me to utilize the power of my mouse trap. Okay, and again, this is not the greatest setup. I slapped this car together last week in a little over an hour. So anyway, so right now I can see my slammer right here. This is my metal coat hanger that replaced the original slammer. And um, I've got that little tack there, okay? And so now when I let go of this, I'm going to make sure my face isn't in the way, but as I let go of this, you're going to see how it will allow the back axle to spin. Okay. So nothing great. This is mediocre at best as far as uh, the performance of this car, but uh, that's the basic idea. So to do that, I'm going to show you with a little thicker string. So fishing line, it works great on a mousetrap car, but as far as showing you how to do it, it's a little more challenging. So I'm going to use just this string here. And now what I do is I'm going to take, just get a piece of it like, like this. That's all. Nothing fancy. And I'm going to just loop it. So right there, this is what I'm at. That's it, straightened out. And now grab it and just, just cause that, create that little loop. And create that little loop. And now this piece right here, that, whoop, the piece right here is going to go through this other hoop, hole there. So I shove it through there, grab it, and I pull it through. And now I've created my loop knot. And this is tight, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? And it does a nice job. And that would work just fine as far as your whole string. So that's it. The other end, of course, would be tied to your mousetrap slammer, all right? Uh, and again, I can try to demonstrate it with a little thicker piece of rope, if that'll help. So the same idea, I'm gonna take my rope here, take it, I'm gonna just make a little loop like that. And now I'm gonna extend it outward and I'm gonna twist it just a little overhand I don't know if you can see that very well but that's that's it and now this piece right here this very end of it I'm gonna shove through that hole right there so I shove it through there and it's a little awkward but it'll work and pull it tight and there I have my loop knot and that's it that's all there is to it this does not slide, it will hold very tightly. Okay, so that's it. That's how you tie your loop knot. Again, you really want fishing line. This type of uh, string here is lightweight and small. It would work decently too, so that's not an issue. All right, that's it. All right, bye.